Welcome back to the channel, Dem members. So, um, that happened. Today, we are going to be conducting a bit of an experiment. The fact that you're seeing this video should indicate that it was a success. We have used a bit of ballistics gel on the channel. Now, while I do tend to make our own ballistics gel, including our own prototyped torso, we have from time to time used permagel from Ballistic Dummy Labs, not sponsored. Our gel blocks are beyond even just using as backdrops. So we are going to embark on getting these things back into something that's more usable and reuse them, reform them into our own blocks. Now I know that the material, the gel will never be as clear, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to clear out some of the crap that's been put into this. So let's go ahead and transfer out to the kitchen, which my wife has been so kind to let me use for the night. And we'll get into trying to salvage this material. What, you thought you were gonna get an intro this time? Nah. Okay, that took a bit more time than I expected. Essentially, I just cut both the head and the remnant of that gel block up very crudely into bits. I broke it down a little further and then I put it in my big stock pot. I have preheated my oven. I'm starting it out at 300 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to be checking in on this periodically over the next several hours and I'll adjust the temperature up or down as needed. I'm expecting this to take at least three to four hours. So let's go ahead and pop this in the oven. Whew. And I'm going to go clean up my office because it is an absolute disgrace, but you don't have to wait. We'll pop right back with the results right after I tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We here at the Phantom Mamas Den take privacy and security very seriously. That's why I use Aura. Aura is a comprehensive identity theft protection service geared to help safeguard your personal information. Aside from their VPN service, they alert me if my data has been part of a data breach or is leaked on the dark web, like in the recent Ticketmaster breach. I get fast fraud alerts if anyone tries to use that data to access my credit or bank accounts. It even removes information from data brokerage websites so I get less spam, like those extended vehicle warranty calls or texts about fake packages that couldn't be delivered. Seriously, I get so sick and tired of those, especially given the fact that I get a ton of packages. In short, Aura has made monitoring my digital and online presence a lot easier and they can help you too. If you sign up for Aura using my link, aura.com slash phantomlamasden or by scanning the QR code on screen, Aura will give you a free two week trial. Thank you again to Aura, you all are amazing. It is four hours later and I was about right. Now I did wind up bumping the temperature up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Didn't have any problems there. I don't recommend going much higher than that. Otherwise you're going to start risking burning the gel. I did try it at 350, but started getting a little bit of smoke coming off the gel. So back that off 300 really did seem to be the sweet spot. There are some bits in here of just, well, the stuff that I wasn't able to get out of the gel. So it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be like it was brand new. I'm also discovering that this stuff dries very quickly. So unlike my other gel, I shouldn't have to refrigerate this. Hoping this stuff does not melt my molds. We're gonna find out. can't believe how quickly that sets up. That's honestly really fantastic because again, that means I don't have to use my refrigerator. The downside is my molds are warping under the heat. So that's fun. Okay, I think I'm going to call it for the night. I am exhausted. Daylight savings time has really thrown me for a loop and I have to work early in the morning. So I will see you tomorrow after work, after this is set up and after I've gotten a haircut. All right. Man, third shirt in a video. That's gotta be some sort of record on this channel. And here is the final product. Overall, I am quite pleased with this. As you can see, it really isn't 
transparent in any way, shape, or form. I mean, it, it is. I don't have any doubt that we will be able to see the rounds that we shoot at this without any issue uh, in the following week or weeks, depending on when that video goes live. But for all intents and purposes, this is a very solid gel block. It's a little warped. I'm not sure if I called it out last night in that little bit of a segment or not. The uh, mold has gotten warped. It's still usable, but our molds will no longer be perfect rectangles. So you know what? Having been able to make two of these with otherwise completely useless gel blocks, a gel block and a head, I am very happy with how these have turned out. Despite having a little bit of debris in here, I don't think that's going to be enough to throw off our test results. This also opens up some other more fun, more ridiculous possibilities with this gel. So there you have it. You can indeed cut down the Ballistic Dummy Labs gel, remelt it, and reform it into a new usable block. It's also just really nice to know that we can stretch some of the back end cost of our videos and make it last a little bit longer. As of the time of filming this video, we have finally hit 5,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. That was our absolute end goal for 2024. We still have almost all of November and December left to continue growing. Thank you so much for all of your continued support. We have amazing things coming on the Phantom Llamas Den and we could not be doing any of this if it weren't for you. Seriously, thank you so much. That's gonna do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the Phantom Llamas Den. Go check us out on X, Instagram, phantomllamasden.com. Follow us on Twitch where we get messed up on weekends gaming. As always, don't take life too seriously and make it a great day. It's kind of like a stress ball, warm stress ball, really hot stress ball.